video on uh, seeing if we can cook um, homemade filo parcels, stroke samosas, in the sandwich toaster. So, ever faithful sandwich toaster, everybody's got them in the cupboard. We're just getting that hot. I think it's going to be beneficial for it to be hot. So, uh, will they actually cook in, uh, in the sandwich toaster? I'm curious. I was thinking while I was swimming, believe it or not. Uh, and I just kind of thought to myself, oh, I wonder if we could cook um, those in the sandwich toaster. I've had um, mixed success with cooking different things in the sandwich toaster. Um, so I just kind of thought we'll give it a go. So the filo is, I rolled it out on the uh, pasta maker. Well, the pasta roller, it's not a pasta maker. I'm the pasta maker. It just rolls the pasta. So um, it's on the thinnest setting. And then it's a little bit too wide is that is a sheet of pasta so just to seal it a little bit better we're just going to fold those edges over and then it hopefully it'll just seal just that a little bit better because in the past when i've cooked things that you don't normally put in the sandwich toaster they have uh, wanted to splurge out so i just thought we'll uh i'm going to it that way put it there so i just kind of thought we'll just Instead of cutting off the edge, we'll just fold it over. And then we're going to make them longer than normal. I just need to get rid of that. We just need to make them longer than, uh, the, the sheet longer than normal because we want plenty of layers of filo. And it's thicker than the stuff that you buy from the supermarket uh, because uh, it's been done in the, on the pasta roller. So, hopefully these are going to fit. I've done three already. So hopefully they're going to fit in the sandwich toaster. If they make a mess, it doesn't matter. I'm going to eat it anyway. So you can see what I'm doing. So the edges are going to be, these bits around here are going to be thicker, which I think will be, which will work better. And then this one, that over there like that. So we should be okay. All right. So sandwich toaster just there. And then we need to brush it with a little bit of oil. Oh, my face has got water on it now. Not to worry, right. So, what are we going to use? We're going to use some olive oil. Just some mild olive oil will be fine. Just to, I'm slightly concerned about um, there not being that much fat in the pastry. So, I just want to, I think the oil will help, the oil will help it not stick and it will also fry the outside. I was also thinking with the tomatoes that they stand up to being deep fried, so I can't see why they won't stand up to being put in the sandwich toaster. And the sandwich toaster, they're triangles, so they're the perfect size for a filo parcel stroke samosa. So that in there, like that. That one's going to be too big. Where's that one going to go? Oh no, that's fine. That one there. That one there. That one, there, and then lid down, and away we go. Fingers crossed. Do I have every confidence in myself? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm curious. Let me see if there's people on that one. I only have some people left anyway. And I had some other things that I was passing around with, so we might as well have a go. Shall we pause and then do a big reveal? Yeah, we'll pause and then uh, we'll cut the length of the video down. It just sometimes my videos just a bit too long, and I think I'd be probably be a little bit bored watching them. But anyway, I'll pause and I'll come back hopefully when it's ready. And if it's knackered, it won't matter. We'll uh, it'll be another in the series of things that don't work in the sandwich toaster. Right, it's flipped twice. So normally it kind of uh, makes a noise when it's ready and it's done that twice. So let's have a look. Oh, there we go. That works kind of, doesn't it? Let's just see if they come out relatively easy. And they come out as well. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that impressive? That works. That works, doesn't it? So. Uh, can we cook them a bit longer? We'll cook them a bit longer. Let's put a bit more oil on them. 
Might have been nicer with butter, actually. Might have been nicer with butter. Got a container. See if we can get like a proper frying tonight on top. So a little bit longer, and then we'll see how they turn out. Right, so it's clicked for the third time. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. That's impressive. That was a treat. So we'll turn off, move it out of the way, and then we'll see how we go. I mean, the insides are cooked. So it, uh, the insides were uh, some pork brujol that I had in the freezer. I was making some space in the freezer. I thought, well, we'll have a go. We'll pull the pork brujol out and we'll do something with that. And then the cheese was some feta I'd had a fat around with. So it's a pork brujol and feta. Uh, samosa boys, the other samosas that I made uh, were with pork brujol, um, but they were made with um, mozzarella and they were really nice. So, crispy, crispy. Hot and melty all the way through. I mean, it's going to be delicious, but yeah, that works. That works a treat. Maybe a little bit too much pastry on the edges, but I was worried about them splitting. So maybe I'll do. No, nah, maybe I won't. Let's have a taste. No, oh, really nice. And it works. So an alternative, if you don't want to deep fry your samosas, you can cook them in the sandwich toaster. There we go. Uh, yeah, so, do the pastry works in the sandwich toaster. That means that um, other things like phyllo, so like the proper samosa wrappers will work in the, in the sandwich toaster. Um, also like spring roll wrappers as well, they're going to work in the sandwich toaster. And uh, there we go, yes. A winner. Congratulations me. Uh, a successful video. Well done, mate.